Welcome to the BigML tutorial series. In this video, we will take a brief tour of the BigML interface and look at some of the parts of that interface that you will encounter frequently when using BigML. In particular, in this tutorial, we will first introduce the idea of a BigML resource. We will then discuss the list and resource views, which are the two most frequent sorts of view you will encounter in the BigML interface. We'll show you how to work in those views to examine a resource or create new resources. We'll also show you how to use the list view to search for and delete resources. Finally, we'll show you how to change a resource's metadata, such as its name or description, and how to group resources into projects. As you may have guessed, an important concept in BigML is that of a resource. In BigML, a resource is anything you can create on the platform. Datasets, models, anomaly detectors, scripts, and projects are all examples of resources that you might create. The process of using BigML is typically a process of creating these resources, examining them for insights into your data, and possibly using them to create other resources. When you log into the BigML user interface, the first thing you see is a list of sources. A source in BigML terminology is a raw data file that you've uploaded to BigML. Usually, this is the first type of resource that you will create when you use BigML. The columns in this list indicate the type and name of the source, as well as how long ago it was created and the size of the resource. You can sort by any of these columns by clicking in the header row. As mentioned previously, you will almost always use the BigML platform to transform your sources into something more useful, like a dataset or a model. You can get a list of all the resources of a certain type by using the menu just above the list view. A special type of list is the tasks list. This shows you the progress of every type of resource that has been created by you. Use the lightning bolt icon to filter this list to only show resources that are currently being created but aren't yet complete. If you aren't currently creating a resource, this list will be empty. The search box at the top of each list view can be used to search the list of resources by name. Typing in the box will create a filtered list of all of the resources having a name matching the text in the box. Finally, each resource in the list view has a context menu that you can access by clicking on the arrow that appears when you hover over the resource. Here you can move the resource to a new project, perform certain one-click actions, or delete the resource from BigML. If you have many resources to delete, the trash can icon near the top of the list view allows you to select multiple items for deletion. Clicking on any item in the list will give you a view of that particular resource. For sources, this view shows a list of the columns detected in the source. Different types of resources have a different view. For datasets, the resource view shows statistical summaries of all of the fields in the dataset. The menus above the search box on the right are generally things that you are able to do with that resource. The cloud action icon shows available actions that you can initiate with a single click. The gears icon, or icons that include gears, open up configuration panels that allow you to have control over the settings for this resource or another resource you might create from this one.
Finally, the encircled lowercase i opens up the information panel for this resource. Here, you are able to set metadata and privacy information for each resource. Under the Info subpanel, you can change the resource's name, give it a description, and categorize or tag the resource for easier searching and organization. Under the Privacy subpanel, you can make a resource available to anyone with a secret link or, for certain resources, allow them to be cloned by other users or displayed in the public gallery. If you have many different types of resources that you would like to collect under a single name, you can create a project for these resources. Do this by using the Folder Plus icon above the list view. Once you've created a project, you can move a resource to the project by choosing the Cloud Action icon in the Resource view. Selecting Move To allows you to choose a project for the resource. To view all of your projects, use the Multiple Folder icon at the top of the list view. The pencil icon can be used to edit the project's name and description. In summary, a BigML resource is anything that you create on the BigML platform, be it a source, a dataset, a model, or anything else. The list view allows you to view all of the resources of a certain type that you've created, and to sort, search for, and delete those resources as needed. The resource view lets you examine your resources created for insights and leverage those resources to create other resources. The More Info panel allows you to change the resource metadata, including the name, description, tags, and category of the resource. Finally, resources can be grouped into projects so that they can be navigated more easily.